In this video, we cover the number four biggest struggle of West Coast swing dancers, what to do when you don't have anyone to practice with. What's up gang, it's Brian B, West Coast Swing Online, here from my studio in Louisville, Kentucky. And in this week's video, this is what we call a Frustration Friday, where we cover a uh, frustrating struggle of West Coast Swing Dancers. And years ago, we polled literally thousands and thousands of West Coast Swing Dancers, and the number four biggest struggle was, I don't have anyone to practice with. And as we're shooting this in the middle of the, uh, the coronavirus pandemic, uh, this is a very real struggle for even more of us. So I'm gonna give you some ways to think about this and some practical resources for what you can do when you don't have anyone to practice with. So the first thing I wanna encourage you to do is just learn to love moving to music by yourself. Now, one of the things that attracts us to West Coast Swing is that connection between our partners, right? And that feeling between one another. And that is a beautiful thing and we wanna get back to that as soon as possible. However, if we can level up our games within our own bodies moving to music, that's gonna make us a better partner and add more of those magical moments when we get back to dancing and practicing with, uh, with different people. Now, we're gonna talk about some practical ways to do that. We have a great West Coast Swing practice video, which if you're serious about upping your game, you should watch this video and learn it. It is a uh, leaders and followers basic practice line dance. Um, Megan's gonna link that up. We did a whole video on this. Um, she's gonna link it up and we also have a step sheet if you're a line dance person like to learn off the step sheet, but we have a video as well. So what that video is gonna do is walk you through the leaders and followers footwork in a very specific way. Now, once you can do that and move to music, the great thing about it is you can just put on a song that inspires you. You don't have to worry about what the DJ is playing or what your partner wants to dance to. You can just put on a song that inspires you. If you're looking for some good West Coast Swing music, again, I'm gonna keep Megan busy in this video. We're gonna link up our top West Coast Swing practice music right here. So go ahead and uh, get a notepad down or your open browser window, because I'm gonna give you a lot of resources that you can take and bookmark and then use. So number one is, uh, download that video. Number two is to grab yourself some inspiring music. Now, what are the things we can practice on our own? We can, um, we can practice our footwork, right? So again, Miss Megan will link up this video. We've got a drill where we can practice rolling through our feet, right? And so you can kind of do this as a drill and again, there's an entire video on this. If footwork is a thing, you can practice that. Then you can take, and when you do your practice video, you can start to practice rolling through your feet during your patterns, right? Another thing you could do is uh, come up with some different versions of styling for your anchor steps. Again, we have a video on five different ways you can style your anchor steps, right? So you can take that video, Megan will download that. Maybe there's too many of these coming up, popping up in the corner, so we'll link all these below as well. So if you want to add some styling to your game, there are some places that you can style your footwork to the side, you can rock behind, you can cross in front and behind. And again, what you want to do is then play that music, go back to your, uh, your basic uh, line dance drill, right? And start to find different places that you can style your anchor step, right? Another thing you can do is level up your game in musicality, right? So you can start to add your styling in a way that matches the music. So if the concept of counting straight eights doesn't resonate with you, that is a way of not just counting the patterns, but the music. Again, we've got a video to explain this, but a quick overview. If I was doing sugar pushes and followers, I won't leave you out, I'll do the follower sugar push. If I was counting this in a basic pattern way, I'd be dancing one, two, three, and four, five, and six. I would start again, one, two, three, and four, five, and six. But the music keeps going to count eight, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if I did this in straight eights, I'd be going one, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, and two, three, and four, five, six, seven, and eight, one, and two, and so on, right? So if you could download that video and then practice your basic, right? Your basic line dance would be my ideal. 
uh, to a song that inspires you. And then if musicality is something you wanna, you wanna up your game, you can practice counting in straight eights. And again, you can keep leveling up that game. You can start to create accents. One, two, three, and four, five, and six, seven, eight. One, two, three, and four, and come up with all sorts of different versions, cool? So you can practice your footwork, you can practice your anchor styling, you can practice your musicality. But I encourage you not to lose the love for moving to music. Find yourself some music that you're inspired by. Practice your stuff if you're a little either uninspired to learn the whole line dance or a little lazy and don't want to put in that effort, no big deal. Pick a pattern. Pick the footwork to something as simple as the sugar push, right? And just dance your sugar push over and over. And you can work on stretching your anchor. You can work on creating angles. You can work on rolling through your feet over and over, and this is where dancers will uh, end up finding their own styling, their own way of moving, and leveling up your game. So don't lose the love of music, level up your game in all those areas by practicing on your own. The final thing I'll share with is during lockdown and COVID, we created a list of all of our best practice alone resources, even ways to structure your practice, um, even ways to, uh, we have a practice tracking sheet, put that down Miss Megan, the practice tracking sheet, We'll pop that in there so you can kind of um, keep track of what you're practicing and see your progress over time. Cool. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the description below. As always, give us a thumbs up on the video if you like it and head on over to the website and enter your email address and grab some free stuff. Thanks, gang. We hope to see you on a dance floor dancing together safely again soon. Mm -hmm.